And we're going to start with a finished shirt so you can see the process in reverse. Um, the center spiral, you reach to a point centered between the armpits to start your spiral. Pinch with your fingertips and twist, and then you can use the palm of your hand. Um, I like to feather it out. It makes the fold smaller and tighter. It gives you more variation in your, um, your white and color pattern. Bring it all the way out around itself. The tighter you make it, the less dye penetration on a wet shirt. So you'll get more white. So get it round. Now the trick to putting the rubber bands on is to leave the shirt flat on the table and slide your rubber bands on. Um, that's why you need a, a slippery surface. And retying a shirt, we're not going to get the pattern. You're not going to see it exactly, but it'll give you the general idea. So when we dye this spiral, when we dye the white shirt, the dye goes on in wedges, like, a, like pizza slices. So starting with the white shirt, same idea. Spread your shirt flat. Face up, find the armpits, center point, pinch, twist, and then feather it. And this takes a while to get your technique down on the feathering. There we go. Again, the rubber bands go on. Slide them across the table and put them on. You don't have to pick up the fabric to put the rubber bands on. It's better if you don't. It maintains its shape. I like to have a nice selection of different sizes of rubber bands for the different shirts. Okay, we've got the spiral. Now, the shirt we looked at had a blue collar on it. We have the option of making the collar any, any color we want because we can see it. So if you, um, if you know you look better with blue against your face, you can make your first wedge up here blue and then you'll have purple and green next to it. If you look better in uh, reds and yellows, you can start with a yellow wedge. I'm going to start with red. So here's the collar. When you apply your dyes, it's best to turn the bottle completely upside down, go into the center. And you don't need a lot of dye because we're going to be doing the same thing on the back side. Okay, red. I like to go rainbow colors around. When you do your secondary colors, um, which would be the orange and the green, you don't want to bring them all the way into the center. You want to isolate your secondaries from the primaries by bringing the yellow all the way to the center so it touches the red. Now, there we go. The green, um, I tend not to mix green, so what I'll do is I'll make enough yellow that I can overlap it with the turquoise. And that'll create my green. Okay, and the die kit comes with uh, magenta, 
yellow and turquoise. And you see I'm using five bottles of dyes. So I've taken uh, the magenta and the turquoise to make my purple. And you know, it's no specific mix. It's whatever color purple you like. Um, and I do the red and the yellow to make the orange. OK, once you've got one side dyed, flip it over. And you're putting the same colors at the same place on the opposite side. Now, a lot of people are tempted to use the rubber bands as a guide. I try not to do that. Just put enough dye on there to have it absorb into the fabric. You don't want it dripping off the edges, because then you get mud. Your colors get mudded. And there's the rainbow spiral. Now it needs to sit for about 24 hours before we can wash it out.